Welcome back to the channel folks, um, it's Biking Adventures and Roots Northern Ireland uh, where I review um, bike wear, uh, bike apparel, clothing, um, bits and pieces for your, uh, for your bike. And today um, I have a, a pair of women's motorcycle gloves uh, which I'm going to do a little review on. I was talking to, uh, dropping a couple of emails back and forward to a company on eBay um, and uh, they sent me out a pair of uh, gloves uh, for a review. Now the company in question is Bike Wear Direct uh, on uh, eBay. Um, so uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So this of course is the packaging. Um, it arrived uh, in two days. So it's just a simple cheap uh, bag but it doesn't really take away from uh, the pair of gloves which were sent so that's the uh, the front and the back of the gloves so let's see if I can bring them a wee bit closer for you and see if you can see more of them so there is a, as you can see there's bits and pieces uh, added in to uh, if you're sliding down the road hopefully you're not going to be sliding down the road but these are uh, obviously for uh, they're a winter glove uh, there's uh, raised parts uh, on the back side here as well. Um, there is obviously uh, a wrist adjuster. And it has something called, it's either Hyporia, but it's uh, H-I-P-O-R-A. And it says, <coughs> pardon me, that it's a three layer membrane that prevents water from coming in and letting, but lets moisture out. Now they are very warm. I'm not gonna get my hands into these here. As I said, they're not for me, they're for my wife. There is, as uh, I say, in the, the Hypora, uh, there is little holes. It lets out um, sweat and stuff like that there, but it doesn't allow any uh, rain and stuff to get into it. So breathable, obviously, from that there. The gloves themselves, wife's tried them on and loves them. Um, in fact, she's looking for a day to get out um, and try them out. I think there is a wee bit of, now, uh, there is a wee bit of room in them um, and she's going to wear liners along with them. Uh, as I said, it is uh, a company called Bike Wear Direct. Um, now these, these gloves, uh, they're not the most expensive gloves um, on the market. We've recently bought a pair and they were £130. These gloves here are £30, which is nothing but Will they stand the test of time? Probably not, but at the price you can afford to buy a couple of pairs, you can still buy three or four pairs and still. Um, they, these ones in particular are 19, um, 99. There's a, a, a thin slit lined waterproof strap closure for the wrist. It's a leather palm, they enhance the grip, and there's double strength palm inlay. Um, they're, they're turret and heat resistant, water and oil repellent. So it all sounds all sounds very good. Now when I put these up against my own gloves, so these are my summer gloves, um, there's something similar. There's obviously no, no knuckle, nothing on the back for the knuckles. Um, but when I look at, obviously, um, when I look at my Alpine Star, it's got a bit of leather on here. They're very thin along the top. Um, they are a summer, summer glove. There's a couple of uh, reinforced pieces on the finger, but other than that, they're, the, the only protection really is the big knuckle, a raised palm there. And when I'm matching it up against these gloves here, they certainly don't feel any different. Um, even pressing down on them, the Alpine Stars is maybe a wee bit more dense. But in fairness, there, there's not much in them. Now, if I take away from that and go for another pair of uh, female gloves, so this obviously is for my wife, as I said. And if I take her old glove against this one here, by far way thicker, a lot warmer, it's softer inside. Um, this is uh, her summer riding glove. There's holes all the way along it, other than the reinforcing on the knuckles. There's a bit in the pan. This here definitely feels a lot better. 
uh, on the pan than her other glove, which cost her a lot more. Um, so this here was at least two and a half times that. So value for money, this glove is definitely working out to be a lot better. Um, I don't know what uh, text speed, unless it's uh, the name of the actual um, company uh, that, that makes these here. Um, and I'll just run through and show you some of the stuff that's actually on the glove so you can see it for yourself. You have that there, and I don't know what's on the inside. So it's just obviously telling you about uh, a whole new way of making gloves. So it's just showing you all the bits and pieces. So inside, very hard to see you, but it's very soft um, and it actually feels lovely. It does have a really lovely feel to it. Leather there, you've got your uh, reinforced pieces here, redesigned down at the side. I would say they'll probably wear off uh, after a while, but it's neither here nor there. Um, leather stitching here, extra leather around uh, the thumb. And it's got a leather inlay uh, in the, the palm grip there. So I'll just hold it up here for a bit. And then I'll just slightly turn it around so you can see it. So um, would I recommend it? Absolutely. Would it save your life? No idea. Uh, will it keep you warm? It certainly looks like it will. Um, and I would definitely um, I would definitely get another one. Uh, what I would actually I'll tell you what I would love to do. I would love to get a pair and just drag them down with my hands along the road to actually see how well uh, they react um, on a road while your, uh, your hands are in them. Uh, I don't mean fall off the bike and do that or what I mean is uh, lean out the back of the car and drag them along and see how well they'll, st they'll stand. I do think they'll do very, very well. Um, and that, that will it protect your hands? Yeah, I would say they would. I'm no expert. When it comes to this here, I'm just telling you what it feels good on the hand. Wife loves them. They're going to keep it warm. And I think they're a good price um, for you to put for, for having on the bike anyway. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll put a wee link in. As I said, it's uh, the company that uh, we got them from uh, on eBay. It's Bike Wear Direct. Uh, and I'm going to stick this wee video up on the Biking Adventures and Roots Northern Ireland uh, page and I'm going to share it across on to a couple of other pages just to see what other people think about it. Um, obviously everybody has an idea of what they like uh, when it comes to uh, uh, when it comes to uh, bike wear so there'll, there'll, there'll definitely be people who like it and there'll be other people who don't like it. Uh, will they spend? Some people will spend two, three hundred pounds on a pair of gloves, uh, and there's other people um, lower down the scale, like myself, that are looking something uh, that'll keep them warm and keep you safe anyway, or safe-ish. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.